Hello, Sue. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you, Alex? Quite well. Now, everyone, this is Sue Overy, and we've not met, have we? No. No. Not in person. <laughs> uh-uh. Bernina hooked us up. Bernina, yeah. Bernina hooked us up and um, you're, because you're doing some really interesting things. But, Sue, give us a little nutshell of who you are, please. Well, uh, sure, absolutely. My name is Sue O'Berry, and my brand is Sue O'Berry Designs. And I have been, and I, I like to say I have been running my own business for 10 years, but it is what has paid the bills, and it is what has, it has uh, raised my family and has sustained me. And it's given me this beautiful opportunity to share my love of sewing. And, but Sue O'Berry Designs has been primarily machine embroidery, and that's kind of what I got known for when Bernina approached me to work with them, which was the... The, the pinnacle of my career, it it, uh, it was it was amazing because they had said, well, we saw this, and then we realized it was you, and so Silver Designs is primarily machine embroidery. There is a nice chunk of surgery projects in there, and it's kind of a sneak peek to the the future. There will be even more, and um, but then about two years ago, I started doing YouTube videos, and I got really known for doing videos on Notion reviews, and so I would say that that's part of my brand too now. It's being kind of a Notion junkie and yeah. experimenting. So what about, um, what machine are you sewing on to do your embroidery with? Oh, the Bernina 790 Plus. Okay, there you go. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. for everybody, just so you know, I'm on a 700 too, and this is how I explain it. There's the low 700 that doesn't have really any bells and whistles other than it's got the big bed and Bernina and all that, you know. Then yeah. there's the medium, which is the one I have that you can add on to with embroidery. Yeah. And it has a stitch regulator, and yours is the whole the whole cake, man, the whole thing, right? It's, it is the most luxurious thing in the entire world. <laughs> <laughs> sewing, I don't know. It's like sewing on a cloud. I, I like to tell people I I, I, know, I know how to sew. Obviously, I know how to sew. I kind of lost my love of sewing, which honestly kind of drove me into machine embroidery and then i've become in love with sewing again because this is hands down the best sewing machine i've ever stitched on you know like it's just really it's it really so, is like, it. it does you know anybody i see that too that is familiar with it they're like oh i know right so i think it's just really it's ignited my love of actual sewing again and i don't know if that makes sense no it does it does because i always used to say you can have the machine dictate the mood of the day or you dictate the mood of the day. I like that. And on yeah. these machines, I'm <laughs> dictating it. And if the machine gets stupid, I know I gotta look. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the machine, it's me. But but anyways, okay, so tell me about the shelves behind you. That just looks like a lot of really cool stuff. This is really fun. So when I recently moved in the last six months and we, um, I really wanted to make sure that my sewing space was also a place to work. Of mm -hmm. course, you know, and, and I do filming. And but I didn't want it to just be like a set. I wanted it to be functional and like I can pull those threads that are right there behind me. I can use my serger. I can, you know, I can pull that fabric that's right there. I wanted it to be functioning, but yet pretty. And so these were bookshelves that I've had for many years. And uh, I gotta tell you, it's it's been curated by my, my fella and I. We just kind of, with, with, he'll, he'll go with me, and we found like a really cool, there was like a cool old uh, iron back there uh -huh. the machine we found. And it's just been fun to kind of finesse it. And, and it pretty much stays the same, but... Yeah, it's, it's my set, but also my happy space. <laughs> and I will tell you, I'm sure that your sewing space is just as organized as that. I'm just sure of it. <laughs> uh, you know, I, hey, right now, just in case you wanted to see my room, I just hit all my stuff. All my junk is on the ground right now. So I move my feet. <laughs> I know, exactly. So, Sue, tell us about your YouTube channel. It's pretty vibrant. I thank you for yes I thank you for asking I am really excited specifically because we just reached 10,000 subscribers and I am thankful for every one of my lovely subscribers and in order to kind of thank them we decided to do 10 days worth of beginner sewing projects there are things that they have in their stash they can sew right today. They can share the videos with their friends and maybe potentially somebody who's wanted to know how to sew, but maybe intimidated. So I actually have some of the projects. Can I show them? Oh, too? I would love to see them. Okay. 
Well, the one, the very first video, and by the way, all the videos are all posted. The last one was posted today. Okay, okay. So all 10 videos are posted. And the very first one, though, was this little hand sanitizer carrying case. And it's designed so that this pops open and you can actually change out the hand sanitizer and put different sizes in it. So it's really, it's designed to fit every travel size hand sanitizer. Did you design that? I did, oh yes. And all the fabric that I used was from Krista Quilts. Uh -huh. uh, Krista Watson, who's, who's also an, a Bernina ambassador, an amazing fabric designer. And so all the fabric is from her. And then the little elastic is from our friend Annie Unrine from my Annie. Elastic? You have elastic? You better watch yes, it. <laughs> and she, she has elastic. You know, of it in stock so <laughs> and who say her name again seriously oh, by annie.com and she has elastic they have elastic yeah, okay they have plenty of it to sell and this is really and it's pretty it's cute look at this yeah 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 yeah, yeah. It comes in all kinds of colors and in fact uh the next project was this little tissue carrying case and it's all fully lined uh -huh. and and they're gonna learn how to do french seams and learn how to create faux piping i mean all the projects are kind of designed to give them another learning lesson, right. to be empowered. There's a little headband, which is really simple, but they're going to learn how to make a pattern in this video and then make it reversible. And then the last one I'll show you, which was probably the most popular, has been this little drawstring bag. And it's You're got kidding a really me. simple casing on the top. It's French seams inside. I've already had dozens of people post pictures of their nice. finished prospects. Nice. Which is exciting. You know? Yes, like, totally. You know, it works. They like it. <laughs> totally. Do, do you have a favorite? I do. In fact, yes. This one went up yesterday, and it is it's my favorite, and I'll tell you why. It's, it was actually inspired by my daughter, who is 11, or almost 11. Uh -huh. And she's a big anime person, loves cosplays. And she had this T-shirt that had gotten quite stained, and what were we going to do with it? So we turned it into a tote bag, which has been done before. Sure. But but my tote bag is going to teach them how to create like a faux sashing. It's fully lined and it's got a nice body to it. So it's not just a t-shirt bag. It's like an actual tote bag. So uh, I told her she'd have it after all of the videos go up live. And then she can have it. <laughs> and what does she think of it? Does she does she like it? She loves it. She loves it. She loves it. She's now, she's like, oh, can we do it with this shirt? And I'm like, yep, but you're going to make it. And what's you're best about Alex is that all her little friends have seen it. And I think we might be having a sewing party here because they want to make a t-shirt post. You know, kids love to sew. I mean, they love to sew. Okay, so you're in the middle of this big celebration that actually is yes. ending today, but people can take part of it. So tell us about it, okay? Today's Wednesday. I don't even know. What's the date? What month is it? <laughs> See, it's, it's 15th. 15th, 15th yes. of April. Okay, yes. yeah. Days and numbers seem to merge right now. <laughs> I, know, so I, said on, I said on something I did on another broadcast was, remember, I never had them. We weren't rich enough, but underpants that have the day of the weeks on them. You know, I could use that or a bra that has that the month be, on it. I mean, where are we? <laughs> that would be quite useful. You are, oh boy. Yeah, it, it's easy to get lost up in one day and what. Yeah. yeah I, spent, I spent all of yesterday thinking that it was uh, Saturday. So, okay. You know? <laughs> so, anyways, today's the end of the 10 days, but you're, you, yeah. people, if you're watching, you don't have to lose out. Tell about this. This is pretty cool. So, we have over 20 sponsors who are donating at prizes, and they are amazing prizes. Some of them, like the fabric that I used, Krista Quilts is donating a big bundle of fabric. Bernina is sponsoring an amazing giveaway. I can't even tell what it is. I'm gonna, you gotta wait till tomorrow. Okay. But we've got Daylight Company and Oliso Irons. We're gonna be giving two irons away. I gotta enter. I gotta end this interview right now, man. <laughs> how you enter, it's pretty simple. You go, you subscribe, you watch the video, and then at the end of the video, you leave a comment. It's pretty simple. And if you want to give a thumbs up, that doesn't hurt us. It's, you know, that, that helps too. And so, and so what's the name of it again? So if they want to go to my YouTube channel, the easiest way to find it is SueOverryTV.com. It'll bring you right to my YouTube channel. And it's Sue, and Overy is O. Well, and on, the, on YouTube, it's our, you know, the website. 
It's, it's just O, it's not S U E O V E R Y TV.com. Beautiful, beautiful. So um, I heard a rumor that you're up to something pretty darn cool that will be being announced when? Well, we're going to partially announce it tomorrow on the video. And but uh, I would be honored to share a little bit with you here with your with your viewers. That would be great. Okay. Well, it has it, it kind of emerged from these projects that were made. It's also emerged from conversation back and forth. And uh, my my boyfriend, his nickname for me is Suki. In fact, it's Suki B, like a buzzy B. Oh. Uh, yeah, and it's, and I call him Bear. And so we're being Bear. But Suki has kind of become a nickname for me around our local close friends. And uh, one day we were having a conversation and uh, he says, you should start a YouTube channel called Suki Sews. And I'm like, that is so cute. I like that. Yeah, I like that too a lot. And so this, we've been talking about this for quite a while though, but this whole 10K celebration and the response, everybody is hungry. Alex, they're hungry for beginner sewing projects. Yeah, I know they are. So starting in mid-May to June, because we've got to get our ducks in a row, but we're going to be using, uh, Bernina is um, partnering with me, and we're going to be using a Burnett, and it's going to be the Burnett B37 machine, and it is a lovely, lovely machine, and it's ideal for a beginner sewer. It is, and, and everybody, it is, it is, a, it's a... It's affordable. It's a great first machine, it you know, because really not every, yeah. I mean, if people had the machine we had, they just, they wouldn't even know what to do. I mean, there's <laughs> so com right. they're complex, yeah. you know, and yeah. so, so have you been sewing on the Burnett? Well, yes and no. I have sewn on that Burnett. That's, that's part of why I chose it. Uh -huh. but is, I'm looking at it, it's still in the box. Uh -huh. Because part of Suki Sews will be to go from taking the machine out of the box. What is a bobbin? What is thread? Why do you use it? What is, you know, it's going to be really completely comprehensive for a beginner. So that's why the machine's kind of still tucked away in the, in the box for right now. You know, my son in law wanted to make a quilt. And he actually he wanted to get in my magazine. Uh, Ricky Tim's in my magazine. And I said, hey, pony up. If you want to be in the quilt life, you have to sew. And he's an yeah. engineer. He's an engineer and he sits down and he goes why why is there thread in the bottom of it and thread on the top and I said so we can sell double the amount of thread I mean I, you know <laughs> come on and and he loved it and when I did my book kids start quilting we had boys and girls and the boys took to it they actually listened better than the girls which I thought was interesting it, you, you know, know I, I, I'm glad that you mentioned that because Suki Sews is unlike Silverberry Designs, which is very much machine embroidery and it's not for the beginner necessarily. Some right. of my projects are, but I, I kind of rely on my, my audience to kind of know what they're doing most of the time. Right. I, I leave a lot left to, to be, they, they already know. Right. But I have, while I was making these videos, I forgot how much fun it is to teach that beginner sewing. Like Alex, in my videos, I mentioned, and don't sew over your straight pins. If I tell my audience that now, my normal, they'd be like, yeah, of course not. Right. But I educate this new audience, like, why don't you sew over a straight pin? Well, because it can do this and this. So, but your, your point about young men wanting to sew is very spot on. We did a focus group in, in kind of learning about Suki Sews, and out of the 20 young people, 14 of them were young men between the ages of 10 and 18. And they were interested and excited, and it really opened our eyes to what we need to learn and, and what we need to learn to prepare for this. But I, I'm excited about the Suki Sews. I think it's going to be um, something for every age, everyone in the world, and I'm glad I'm going to be sewing on uh, the, the Burnett, which is, you know, part of the Bernina family, and I'm excited I'll be sewing on one that is affordable and Boy, that's a, it's a good machine. Nice, 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 yeah. nice. Well, I am really excited to have met you. Me and, too. And as soon as all this is over, you know, maybe fall market or something. I don't know. I would I love to meet you in person. Absolutely. I can't wait. But we'll have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. That'll that would be, nice. be great. That would be great. And I will tell you right now, what you're doing is a gift to sewists worldwide. So I thank you. And... Oh. Sue, also, thank you so much for taking time out because I know you're uber busy. You've got a daughter at home, home, you're doing the whole yes. thing, you know, and <laughs> <laughs> ah, 
<laughs> you know, so. Yeah, no, it's, it, everyone, in, everyone in the world, I think, is doing homeschooling right now, so. <laughs> I know, my daughter is a teacher. Well, she's a librarian now at a high school, but I just love it because I think people have a whole new appreciation for what teachers do. And I did say to her, I told her that, and she said, but mom, just when it's your own kid, it's just impossible. It's just impossible. You know, that's why we send them away because they'll listen to the effort. It's way better. Not to. <laughs> right. So thank um, you. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, and have a great thank rest you. of the day. Thank you so much, Alex. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.